you know that our bodies have to have vitamin D to properly absorb calcium? They do, and in this video, we're gonna talk about vitamin D and why it is so important for bone health. I'm Sarah, and I'm so glad that you are here to join me on a journey to better bone health. I'm a 500-hour trained yoga instructor with additional training that's specific to yoga and osteoporosis, as well as being bone fit certified. I'm also a certified nutritional health coach. If you'd like to learn more about the programs that I offer to help improve bone health for the long term, please see the link in the description. Let's get started with vitamin D. After calcium, vitamin D is the most important substance that our bodies need for bone health. This is because without vitamin D, our bodies cannot properly absorb calcium, getting it into our bones. As we age, our ability to properly absorb vitamin D decreases, and then we tend to need more of it. It may not be readily apparent to us that we're deficient in vitamin D, but when we have a deficiency, our bodies will release calcium into our blood, which accelerates bone loss. So a side note about calcium being released into the bloodstream is that our bodies need calcium in the blood to properly regulate our hormones. If there's not enough calcium in our blood, then our bodies will take it out of our bones to ensure that it's in our blood. It's that important. This makes it necessary to do everything that we can to get the right nutrients into our bodies so that they can function properly. So back to vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, which means that our bodies store it in our fat tissue. Water soluble vitamins such as vitamin C are not stored in our bodies. So we urinate out the excess. Since vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, that means that it's possible to get too much of it and that your vitamin D level should be checked every year by your doctor through a simple blood test. While it's possible to get too much vitamin D, such a circumstance is not common. In fact, 42% of adults in the United States have a deficiency of vitamin D rather than a surplus. So let's go over what some of the possible symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency are so that you know what to keep an eye out for. Fatigue is the first symptom. Being tired in a way that feels like it's never gonna get better, along with having poor sleep. Another symptom is muscle and joint pain, along with having osteoporosis. Vitamin D is also important for our immune system to function well, and when we're deficient, we're more likely to be sick frequently. Vitamin D has also been shown to have a role in balancing out our mood. So interpreted, this means that during the winter time when people aren't often getting enough sunshine, they're more likely to experience feelings of sadness and anxiety. The majority of our vitamin D comes from our exposure to the sun. You may have heard the recommendation to go spend 20 minutes in the sunshine every day. That is a great recommendation. And it's great to spend time in the sun, but it's also difficult to get the full amount of vitamin D that our bodies need from spending a short amount of time in the sun each day, especially in the winter time when the days are shorter and it's cold outside. Vitamin D is also available in a healthy diet, but it's difficult to get enough of it, especially if you're a strict vegetarian. So vitamin D is available in salmon, swordfish, tuna, and sardines. It's also accessible in egg yolks and beef liver. Many foods have been fortified with vitamin D, like cereals and orange juice. If you decide to include these vitamin D-rich foods in your diet, it's still unlikely that you're going to get the daily recommended amount, which makes it likely that you need to take a vitamin D supplement. So let's talk about vitamin D supplements. There are two types of supplements that are available, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is what our bodies produce after we've spent time in the sun. When we take vitamin D2 into our bodies, then we still need time in the sun to be able to convert the D2 into D3. This means that when you're looking for a supplement, it's important to choose one that has vitamin D3. The daily recommended amount is 800 IU daily international units. If you have a deficiency, your doctor may recommend that you take a higher amount than the generally recommended daily amount. This is something that should be monitored regularly with your doctor to see how your body is absorbing and storing the vitamin D3. When you're eating foods that have vitamin D3, keep in mind that since it is fat soluble, it's best absorbed when you consume it with foods that also have quality fats in them, like avocados, grass-fed butter, fatty fish, or eggs. 
And since I'm a nutrition nerd who likes staying up on the current nutrition news, there's new scientific evidence that suggests that vitamin D may suppress melatonin, which helps us to get sleep at night. So this means that it might be helpful to take your vitamin D a bit before bedtime. This fits in well with taking vitamin D with quality fats at one of your meals instead of right before bed. I hope that you have found this video helpful and that it has you thinking about where you can get your vitamin D3. If you're unsure what your vitamin D level is, I encourage you to get checked with your doctor. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more great information about bone health. Talk soon.